All right, here it is. Um, I give uh, big props to Tony at um, rchelp.com for this. You really can't see it unless the light hits it just right. But that right there, uh, that is actually a near black blue. It's called, it's off my old 2002 Mercury Villager. It's called True Blue. Um, that's what color I'm gonna do the hand grips on the side of my DX6i. And the, this is the scroll wheel. Also, I'm gonna do the throttle cutoff button and the power button in this collar. And I already got one part of the uh, main collar, which is uh, called a Mandarin Orange, which is off the, the newer Dodge Charger. There you go. Now that's a nice collar. That's what the, the main collar on the DX6i is gonna be, along with that blue. And then I'm also gonna do the the electroluminescent backlighting that I got from rchelp.com. Um, thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. And right now, I've got the handle grips on the side of the DX6 painted the true blue. You can see it. I, instead of black, I got the this self etching primer on right now. I haven't really actually. I'm in the process, as you can see, masking up the side so that I don't paint the orange over top of that in order to get that nice bright orange instead of like what Tony did he took his um clear window out and I taped over all my emblems and stickers on the top right here and stuff um, I just didn't want to hassle through and r maybe ruin them trying to peel them off or something like that so I just went ahead and taped over them and um so and I also put tape on the back side just in case there was any overspray so that I don't get it on that and right there is going to be that in the main collar so in order to get that nice bright orange, which is this is going to be right here, I actually got a Honda, a real light colored Honda Gold that I'm spraying as a base over top of this, so that I get that that silver base, and then I'm actually going to once that dries at least a half an hour so that it because that's what the directions say because it's pretty fast drying stuff I'm gonna spray that orange right over top of it and, um, and then once that dries then I'm gonna untape every, everything and do a layer of um, clear coating ever well I'm gonna untape everything but the window right here and then I'm gonna clear coat everything else I also got some blue silver aluminum bling knobs got real fat heads on them that are I mean your your thumbs will not slip off of them you know and I know Tony said that it would cost a lot to do the Knight Rider mod because after all labor and everything that he did but um uh, you know you expect to hear from me Tony I'm gonna ask you if maybe you know I'm gonna buy some electroluminescent sheet and like you said I'll cut each one into little strips and um, I'll possibly see if you'd be willing to give me the schematics and the part names and everything and uh, like maybe a parts list or something and then I'll go out and buy all the parts and I'll build it myself and we'll see how we go you know I worked on electronics since I was about eight years old I'm gonna be close to 36 now so you know I've got a decent amount of experience I haven't done a whole lot but you know I've done a little bit there it is right now. Um, the next video is going to be attached to this. You'll see, and it'll be uh, all completely painted and clear coated, and I should have it back together. And um, I know Tony, you were wanting to see what it was going to look like, so uh, wait and see. All right. Bye. All right, there it is. Got the silver base on it. Obviously, the only place I got because I live in a townhouse, so all I got is to paint it outside gonna be a short little video of the base painted all underneath even inside the little the holes where the sticks go up on top next will be the orange going over it alrighty there's the mandarin orange the color off the Dodge Charger not very good lighting all I got is my porch light here and it's kind of got a yellow tint to it so it actually looks darker than what it really is but as you can see, paint it all the way around the back. Right there, the hand grips on the side will be blue. The scroll wheel, uh, power switch, and throttle cutoff button are all going to be the Mandarin or the True Blue.
think I'm pretty sure I got it painted real good on the top here. The antenna, the tip of the antenna tube thing is going to be covered anyway with the antenna itself. Just trying to make sure I got all the crevices covered real good. Alrighty, next you'll see after I clear coat it, it will be, I'll have it back together and I'll have the backlighting in it. Alright, you're going to hear some noises from film mine. It's just my four year old, my two and a half year old. Alright, here we go. Finished product super clean can't really tell too well unless the height light hits it just right but right there that's a near black blue I only have a few spots that um when I was filling the tape off came off a little bit but I can live with that but if you look at it real close that color is actually called true blue it's a near black blue from a distance looks like the stock black can't even tell right there it's called Mandarin Orange. It's the color off the Dodge Charger. I love that color, man. I'm kind of partial to blue and orange, so hey, we can do. And here's the moment of the truth. Put the back EL backlight. There you go. And it works. Clean. I actually painted my button blue. Throttle hold button blue. Got the blue bling knobs. Like any EL, it's got the little hum. I don't know if you can probably hear it off the flip camera, but it's got a little hum like most flips, most EL string light and sheet light do. finished product appreciate it Tony love the backlight kit turned out real nice took me a little bit of figuring out how exactly how you um, that he ended up having to figure out when I finally looked on the website on the installation instructions the pictures showing that you had to actually bend the connection had to bend them a little bit to clear this other circuit boards and the control stick mechanism but I like it, man. It's cool. Hopefully, it don't draw too much power. You said it doesn't, so we'll see. I gotta charge it right now. I can't see it's kind of blurry, but I'm sitting at about 4.6 volts, so I'm probably gonna have to charge it. All right, man. Get out of there, Christopher. That'd have been my four-year-old. It's your tail. Say hi, Christopher. Hi. <laughs> All right. Have a, guys, have a good one.